What's up, Bedford? 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 Everybody, today's your daily Bedford announcements. It's starting off with your Chromebook. People, it's your responsibility to charge your Chromebook. Please do this daily. Reminder, quarter three ends on Friday, March 24th. For 22 and 23 school year, the state of Michigan has instituted the administration of BSAT at 8 and 9, basically soon. BSAT 10 for all and 9th test grade students. The BSAT assessments are designed to help students prepare for the SAT assessment. They will be taking as part of the MMAE required for all 11th grade students. All assessments below are required for in-person and virtual students. Bedford Public Schools will be administrating both SAT assessments as part of the special assessment schedule used for the administration of the SAT and ACT word case assessment taken by 11 and grade students on Wednesday, April 12th and Thursday, um, April 13th this year. Please note that schedule below as it applies to your students and Wednesday, April 12th, 9, 10, and 11th grade students report at 7.30 a.m. and PSAT at 9 to 10 and SAT testing. And dismissal at 1 p.m. 12th grade students impact day. Turn your impact day slip into the attendance office. Please do so by tomorrow. Attend your selected impact day activity. Here's next. Thursday, April 13th. 11th grade students report at 7.30 a.m. for ACT work keys testing. Dismissal will be at 2.30 p.m. 9th, 10th, and 12th grade students will report at 11.30 a.m. for afternoon classes. Buses will pick up for grades 9, 10, and 12 four hours later than normal. If your student has accommodated testing as part of an IEP, for 504 dismissal times may be later and will be communicated with you directly. So spring queen tickets are on sale all week during lunches. Costs will be $2 each, and this will get you out of 7th hour tomorrow. And this will support the freshman and sophomore classes. Students, there are over 180 library books overdue. Please return or renew your books ASAP. Yeah, that's what she said. Pickle Club is getting started. All skill levels are welcome. If you're interested, please complete the form in Schoology, and more information will be coming out with dates and times. Yearbook. Did you buy a yearbook last year, but haven't ordered this year's yearbook yet? If then, so, then stop in the yearbook room for, to get a $5 off coupon. Good till April 1st. This will be the last discount that will be offered. After April 1st, prices will go up. Seniors, the finishing touches are being put on the hardcover portion of the 2023 yearbook, and we want to remind those of you who just are, are just about to finish their careers at Bedford that there is still time to order a book. We are offering a $5 discount with the code LASTCHANCE when used at checkout. Go to yearbook.com and search Bedford High School. Need a dress for prom? Any student who, needs, who still needs a dress for prom can come see Mrs. Menard in D7 or send her an email. Save the date. Senior send, you, send off celebration when? Saturday, May 20th. Time, 8 p.m. to 1 a.m. Where? Bedford High School. What is it? It is a safe, drug and alcohol free celebration for the graduating classes of 2023. We'll have lots of fun activities for the graduates to enjoy. Psychics hypnotist, a mechanical bull, DJ, a photo booth, henna tattoos, inflatable activities, open gym for basketball and volleyball, and a cornhole tournament, plus more. There will also be lots of food and the opportunity to win prizes and gift cards. We will be sending out a registration form in April for parents to sign up and students to return, as well as parents to volunteer. Nurse camp. Students are interested in free camp for nurses and medical professionals sponsored by Lourdes University this summer. Please see school chief for the link to sign up. Young Marines. Join the Monroe Country Young Marines for students ages 8 through completion of high school. Learn more at an informational meeting on March 8, 28th, 6 p.m. at the Monroe VFW Post, 400 Jones Avenue, Monroe. Recruit training will be held April 29th to 30th. Tutors. Yeah. Oh, sorry about that. So tutors. Nope, we already. Tutors interested in becoming a tutor after school, please contact Mrs. Tennant in the media center or Mr. Garmin in the athletic office. Tutoring looks great on your college AP. Driver's Ed. Michigan Driver's Education Curriculum is split into two segments and is required for all teen drivers under age 18. You can visit Community Ed on Be the Bedford website for more information. Many thanks to Mrs. LeBert's home maintenance class. They are currently rehabbing our studio space. We look forward to showing you our new improved space soon. 
YouTube channel? Are you subscribed to our YouTube channel? Did you even know we had one? Our YouTube channel features videos by the students in E11 and A17. We're not just a spot for daily announcements. Be sure to like and subscribe. You never know when a contest might pop up. Women's History Month is the annual de declared month that highlights the contri contributions of women to events in the history of Kitapuri society. Here's a video for it, and this is your daily announcements. See you later. There's so many women that have gone before me and have taken to the sky. Do you think there is a, a need for women in space? Well, is there a need for men in space? All these women have been my role models and my inspiration, and I couldn't be here today without them. Islam Turisi is the woman behind a leading COVID-19 vaccine. Women bring an energy to rap that did not exist before. And the Grammy goes to Cardi B. Who knows how many others could have been the first if they'd had the chance to try. Pattern Beauty is launching. I'm the first person in my family to start a business. Let's talk about some glass ceilings being shattered. Oh. <laughs> Jugo Tabai summited heights no woman before her had reached. We can show girls that anything is possible. It doesn't matter what they look like or where they come from. They can change the world. Hello and welcome to Bedford Kicking Mules Weather with Leland Adamzak. And Benjamin Fincherman. So to start it off on Thursday, it's going to be rainy and wet like a water bottle with a high of 50 and a low of 35. On Friday, it's going to be cloudy with a high of 42 and a low of 36. On Saturday, it's going to be very windy with a high of 55 and a low of 33. And on Sunday, it's going to be fairly sunny with a high of 52 and a low of 31. Next week on Monday, it's going to be partly sunny and chilly with a high of 54 Fahrenheit and a low of 34 Fahrenheit. Um, on Tuesday, clouds and the sun, uh, it's going to have clouds and sun with a shower. Uh, the highest will be 46 Fahrenheit and the lowest will be 27 Fahrenheit. On Wednesday, it's going to be mostly sunny, just mostly, with 46 Fahrenheit and 31 Fahrenheit. That's it for the Kicking Mules weather. I'm Benjamin Fisherman. I'm Leland Adams, Zach. Bye, all.